Dude, the graph is freaking loaded on this point. So I wanted to back out and try the donkey thrasher a little bit. It's eight and a half feet deep. The water temp's 51. Whoa, warming up strong. Um, and again, I, I know that little shallow crankbait works and I know you can pick them off and, and finesse, you know, you're almost finesse cranking when you're, when you're doing that. But sometimes you gotta back off and, and go to that first break in this colder water and maybe throw the donkey thrasher out there. They get a better look. They get four baits to look at. Might get a pig. Might get a double hookup. Have you ever double hooked up on this? I've caught two at once a couple times, but that's Man, been it. How hard, have you done it in a tournament? No. How hard never. would your heart be pounding for a hundred grand with five fives on this thing? Or four? Dude, that'd be pretty insane. It can happen. I, I heard of a guy up north catch a, a seven and a nine on it in the same cast in a tournament. It's, it's unbelievable. That's pretty insane. I don't know the full power of this rig yet, but I want to find out. Well, the I cool thing about it is that you know, like, like you just mentioned, you know, we came through here with the crankbaits, you know, you're catching, you're catching a few fish, but I think there's, you know, obviously a school of fish around here somewhere. Dude, if you bring this bait through that, near that school of fish, it's going to, it's going to attract them. You're going to get, well, they've already the proven, fish out of that school they've fish. already proven the Alabama rig smashes them. Everybody that's thrown it in a major tournament or in the last few major tournaments has won the tournament. So why not make one different and better? Instead of making a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy, how about making one that's different and better for multiple reasons and easier to use? I, I don't know if you can see this thing fly through the air, but you watch, I'll throw this thing as hard as I can. They stay separated in the air. It's not like the close five rig. You can heave this thing as hard as you want. They don't snag as much. The lighter wire and the perfect length, you know, it took me months to play with liter length of wire from the, from the R bend to your bait. And the right length, everything, the right rod, the right line, you have so much more action with this rig than the Alabama rig. It's incredible. Well, and also, you know, with that thinner wire, it, it's a lot, you know, it's a lot less finessey, I guess, you know, especially here in California. You know, a lot of, a lot of those clear water lakes back east also, you know, you got that heavy gauge wire, you know, I mean, after a while, the fish are going to kind of get used to seeing that. But well, with this, I, I mean, it makes that bait flex. I, I mean, can't imagine, I can't imagine being able to fish that rig here like they do there. I mean, I realize in Alabama, you can throw 80 pound braid and you can throw 043 wire, five strands, and you can throw six inch swim baits and half ounce heads, you know, and bang it into the bridge pilings. That might work, but here and, and in certain situations where, where there's a lot of pressure, and, and especially lakes where there's good tournament fishermen out there fishing team tournaments every weekend, you have to have something a little more finesse. It has to have a little more action, and it has to be a little more user friendly. You don't want to fight that thing all day. You don't want to be untangling swim baits all day. You don't want to have this thing snap on you. I know you guys have seen them on TV break. I know on the FLW show it showed them break. This is 035 wire, so it can wear out. But again, I've caught two fish at one time on this thing. No real giants. I've caught probably 10 or 15 fish on this one rig alone. So I don't know how many you can catch on it, but it is way, way more finesse. And you see these big ones on the graph right here out on this point. You check that big arch out. Anything with color in it means it's probably over five pounds. There's a lot of differences between this and, and the Alabama rigs on the market. The main difference is this is more of a California rig. It's a lot more finesse. Every part on it's more finesse. It works a lot better, and you don't have to throw it on 80 pound braid. We don't have a lot of chocolate milk water out here. We got crystal clear reservoirs, a lot of spotted bass. So we had to make something a little more finesse, something that you could fish you know, in, in highly pressured waters. And this is what we came up with. The Donkey Thrasher has high quality components. Everything's from the highest quality you could get, 50 pound clamps, 35 pound snaps. You can put any swim baits on it you want. Now, one of the main differences of my rig is that it turns. It allows it to twist on that little swivel. Nobody else does. Everybody else has a fixed head, a lead head, a foam head, basically leading the umbrella rig through the water. I don't really like that. You don't need that. That little fish head right here is just to catch bass fishermen. Bass don't really care about that. The ability to bring a school of bait fish through the water column or right by that piece of structure that the fish is on is what makes him release on that. He's used to seeing one bait come by and now four baits come by. That's why they're attacking it. That's why they're catching them everywhere in the United States right now. If you've thrown one of these rigs, you've probably had some success on it and you probably looked at it and went, wow, that's like the stupidest thing I've ever seen. 
They really are, but again, it catches a lot of fish. The 035 wire gives you the ability to cast it a lot easier, throw it on lighter tackle. They don't tangle up as bad. And one of the most important things that you're going to see with my rig is when it hits the water. When you reel this to the water on a normal slow roll, roll retrieve and just alter or stutter your reel handle or maybe just oscillate or pump your, your rod tip a little bit, this rig actually flexes a lot. So when it comes to the water, if you've ever seen a small ball of shad swimming through the water, they don't just swim straight all the time. They dart and they, they take off and when they take off, the ball of shad condenses down. It's the same thing with this rig right here. Once you start snapping it and pulling it, it comes to life and it actually flexes and gives these baits extra action and extra movement that none of these other rigs have on the market. Try my rig today and I guarantee it puts more fish in your boat. I'm on, I'm on, I'm out, out deep. There's I was light. chopping my reel handle. I was just pumping it off the bottom doing that little chop. Dude, this is a freaking toad right here, bro. Right where we marked those big ones out here. They wouldn't come up on the crank. Dude, this is a pig right here.